Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. Are we ready for some crafty fun? Are you ready to perhaps craft along with us this morning? Um, we're so excited. Um, it's, it's an amazing show that we've got lined up for you. We're going to be having another look at our fabulous, sweet little club gift. Um, but let's do the introductions, first of all, before we get on to um, all our crafty fun today. Um, my name's Rebecca, and I'm going to be your hostess for today. Um, we're going to have so, so much fun. Um, it's, it's a wonderful show, and if you've never tuned into one of our craft alongs before, um, it, it's going to be fabulous. We do start to finish projects, and we just have a really, really good time taking things a little bit slower, a bit more chill. Um, in the producer's desk, we have the wonderful Gemma. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and ready to craft along for us today is none other than Anne-Marie. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all? Good. You yes. remember Gemma's name? I had a complete mental block yesterday and I was like, this is fair. Oh, lovely Gemma. producer Gemma. <laughs> Honestly. It's Monday. It was Monday morning though. Oh, I was terrible yesterday. I know. Uh, we're still... I can't remember my own name. We're still a little bit hot. It's a little bit warm yeah. here. It's very we close. The, we don't have the sun today though, do we? It's, no. it's a bit muggy. It is. It is. Yeah. It's very 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 muggy very close we're, we're not fans but we are ready to craft along for you guys so shall we kick off with <coughs> our amazing win it weekly first of all okay so here is our incredible win it weekly prize this morning this is our curious cats luxury topper collection so you are going to get loads in here to be crafting away with all your fabulous curious cats pals in there the inspiration sheet um eight complete toppered sets four of each uh, yeah four designs two of each printed and foiled cardstock throughout and just look at these little cuties they're so so fun um who wouldn't want to win this i mean really mm -hmm. and we've got five to give away i know it's fabulous isn't it it really Such a really cute is um absolutely perhaps you've had your eye on this and thought oh you know <laughs> <clears throat> not not been not been able to get it well here is your chance to win it isn't it fabulous um it's worth 19.99 and as i said we've got five lucky winners um so to be in with the chance of winning and um, we would like you to like and share our video and answer the following question oh do you know i think i know this one <laughs> do you? it's been a qu i'm pretty sure we've had it on a quiz before uh, okay but i might have to, i might have to recount you know how many gifts in total were given in the 12 days of Christmas song? Is it A, 217, B, 364, or C, 432? It's quite good though, because you can work it out. Yeah. You can work it out. Yeah. We were saying yesterday though, it's quite amusing. I was like, I don't think I want any of those gifts under my tree, to be honest. Like the maids are milking, the lords are leaving. No. And then someone commented saying, never mind that, what about the geese? And the, oh, the hen and the partridge all under your tree. I mean, it's messy. No, no. It's very I'll, messy. I will just take the five gold rings, thanks. That will do. Yeah, That's that sufficient. will do us. That is, that is, that is plenty. <laughs> Absolutely plenty. Um, so if you think you know the answer pop your comments in and um yes absolutely you don't want to miss the chance to win that incredible curious cats luxury topper collection okay so let's get into our craft along so the projects that we've decided to do um for our craft along is our incredible club gift um it is our latest and greatest one the meadow mice collection and this is free for our club members um, now, you might have known um, that we've had a few changes to our Club Hunky Dory we have. with the launch of the Diamond members, but it's available for Diamond and Classic it members. Is. yeah, absolutely. Um, so all, if you just want the topper sheets, foiled and printed cardstock, this is absolutely free. You're only going to pay your postage. Um, <laughs> the code for this is CLUBGIFT35. Um, so we'll just run through what you're getting with this. There really isn't a lot left either. No. Um, so perhaps you've already got your hands on this and are eagerly awaiting Anne-Marie's projects. Um, perhaps you've had it a while, perhaps you've all used it all, or perhaps you've just got those last couple of bits and are wanting a little bit more inspiration from today's show. Absolutely stunning. I mean, aren't they sweet? Oh, they're just the cutest, aren't they? They really are. They've got big floppy ears. 
um, long windy tails, the fast asleep on their toadstools and in their teacups with those spring and summer flowers just blooming away he's doing his laundry there <laughs> and i know and the sentiments are the sweetest especially for the one i love sending special wishes from me to you and have a nice day so really really celebratory there they're just having so much fun aren't they all matastic so you can add your um, mediums and um, perhaps you got our brush markers yesterday yes oh my gosh did you see the deal Oh, it's incredible. Oh, it's absolutely bonkers. Is is that still on? Do we know? Yes, it's it on is. till Sunday. Oh, fabulous. So, you know, perhaps you want to add a little bit of bit of smooshing or a little bit of extra colour on here. It's matastic, so it will be a wonderful partner for your brush markers. Um, I mean, aren't these sweet? <laughs> um, so many different toppers on there. You've got all your little buttons and your tags so you can make matching presents or matching 3D projects. A little peeping over the corner there. Oh, so cute. They really are so cute. Lots of fussy cutting opportunities in here. Oh, of course, isn't yeah. There? We do like a little bit of fussy cutting. We, we certainly do. Yeah, this one, obviously, that's just the perfect time to mention isn't it. it. How lovely is that L-shaped border going to be fussy cut? Popped on a card, maybe some acetate in between or on a panel. Possibilities are absolutely endless. And this one as well, lots of sleepy little mice on here. Time to celebrate. You've got him asleep on that snail there and on that mushroom. Relax and enjoy your day. Birthday wishes and wishing you a speedy recovery. So some really nice sort of fun, cheerful, um, uplifting sentiments there as well for anyone that just needs a little bit of a boost. Um, who wouldn't love to receive this, especially <laughs> if they are feeling a bit under the weather. This is going to cheer anybody up. Gorgeous sky blues, lilacs in there and the, and the sort of green, green coming through on there as well. So that is free if you just want that. But the absolute best value that we have is in our incredible bundle. So you're going to get your free gift in there. You're also going to get your inserts and papers which are just absolutely stunning. Let me just quickly flick through that. So you don't have to worry about what you're going to match your card up with. You're going to get these beautiful muted inserts, just a really nice, soft, delicate finish. Um, absolutely brilliant to print on, stamp on, um, write on. Absolutely, you know, you can do anything with these. The perfect finishing touch for your cards. Um, so you're going to get these. And not only this, we've put in double-sided papers oh they're gorgeous they're, they're stunning yeah they, they honestly really are beautiful. look at the level of detail in there all those leaves and those cute little ladybugs in <laughs> they're there so cute. they really are uh, you get the sky and the clouds on that one we've got this one with the um sort of blueberries and then again that really nice foliage pattern so even if you don't use these with your meadow mice kit the nice simple patterns that you could be matching um up with any of your craft stash uh, we've got the summer strawberries how good are strawberries right now oh i know they're oh, incredible they're just nice and cold out the fridge yeah. a little bit of cream or a bit of sugar um it's their time to shine isn't, isn't it? it yeah 100 percent um gorgeous little blossom or gyp the gypsophilia there and the grass print how fun is that so so much fun um all over florals so a really nice mixture of sort of masculine and feminine patterns in there some are really unisex as well you know the Aww. yellow gingham i know so summery isn't it it's like a little picnic blanket oh de oh yeah definitely it's perfect for this time of year we've got the butterflies and the polka dots again more of those um really nice bright blooms there um, with this pattern again that is matching the cardstock perfectly. I have seen this in one of our cardstock, so you can be mixing and matching absolutely like a dream. And then we've got this one, our sort of um, more sort of vintage, yeah. um, blousy kind of flowers, and our beautiful sort of it's like, like dashes. Pinstrap, yeah, a little yeah. pinstripe, little cute, not polka dots, but like more like polka dashes. They're very, yeah. very sweet. And um, with that gorgeous sort of cloudy ombre colour on there. So you're going to get that in your bundle as well. So you're going to get your toppers. You're going to get your inserts and papers. You are also going to get your bite size book as well. So this is 72 adorable mouse themed images featuring 12 different designs. So again, you're going to have 72 toppers here ready yeah, to go. Yeah, definitely. So it's basically, it's like a half size little book. Yeah. So it's just got half the number of pages, um, but still fantastic. You know, you still get your six of each. So you yeah. can still do all your fussy cutting yeah. and all your decoupaging if you want to. 
But yeah, obviously you've got the ability to make 72 toppers, which is just fantastic. Absolutely. And just because it's half the page, it is, they're still the same size, so they're going to fit on all your little but mirror yeah. mats. Yeah, um, absolutely. So if you've got them ready to go, I mean, look at some of these scenes. They're so, <laughs> so gorgeous. Um, yeah, maybe popping them in frames. Again, the sweet imagery is perfect for like nursery decor or children's yeah. rooms. You know, they just would not look out of place in frames, these. Absolutely stunning. Um, and you're going to get this included in that bundle, £11.99. Um, I mean, you think about what a full-size little book is, £9.99. Exactly. And this is included yeah, in this price. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Are you getting the... Are we getting the Mattastic as yeah. well? Oh, Matt, we're going on and on. <laughs> Who... Honestly, you need to buy this bundle because the value in this is incredible. So we're still going with our fabulous Mattastic. We've got the honey, the warm oak, specially selected to go with our um, our fabulous Meadow Mice collection. Again, it's available on its own, but why would you not be getting this Honestly, bundle? So you're going to buy this, it's £4.99. You're going to buy the Bite Size Little Book at £4.99. Yeah. So that's £10 almost straight away. And then you've got your inserts. But then and you're going to get everything else for. You're going to get the whole thing for eleven ninety nine. Yeah, a hundred percent. Beautiful French blue colour there as well, uh, and your lovely soft pink. Beautiful. So that is what you are going to get as part of that bundle. Um, <coughs> we have not got many left. So if you haven't treated yourself to it yet, please, please do so. Um, we do club gifts sort of every three months, roughly. Yeah, that's that's sort of the plan. But this one has sold much quicker than anticipated. Oh, I know. So there is going to be a little bit of a gap when this one runs out before the new one. So yeah. don't miss out because honestly, we don't have that many left at no, all. No, no. We saw the pile coming in this morning. It's a sad little pile, yeah. isn't it? There's still quite, there's still a few left, but absolutely get that in your basket and get that on its way to you at home. Um, and, and like Anne-Marie said, we're not due another one for a while, so there is going to be a little bit of a gap, so get it now. Um, Anne-Marie, can we have our first project, yes, please? Yes, we absolutely can. So we are going to use our bite-sized little book for this one. Okay. Um, so what I've done is I've taken this gorgeous little sleepy mouse image uh, with the little... Um, I just have, love how he's having a little snooze on the snail, and he's obviously just getting like a free lift okay, yeah. while he's having a little snooze all. Yeah, he So is. what we're going to do is we're going to stick this down first of all. Let me have a route for some tape in my box. I love his little patchwork shell as well. Oh, me Marie. too. It's just adorable, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to pop this straight onto one of our Miri mats. So these are available on the website. Oh, yeah. Always. These. Oh, my goodness. Where's my three-in-one dye brush? I think I've left it on my desk. Oh, do you want, um, uh, you're okay. I can use my craft knife. Gemma's going to go and get it. Oh, but yeah, if you want to use your craft knife. Um, yeah, this is the problem you see. I craft on my desk and I don't leave myself enough time to pack all my things up. I just grab and go. Oh, we always do, absolutely. There we go. So this is gonna go straight onto our mirror mat. So obviously these are sized perfectly to add your little book pages on because they're gonna leave you that gorgeous edge all the way around. Yep. Um, and then we're gonna layer up some of the design, just the little mouse okay. and the snail. Okay, so I've already made a start on this one. So I'm just going to go around and cut the snail and the mouse out. So I'm cutting all the background away. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I don't know where the one from in here has gone. It's probably sprouted legs again. Oh, they, they do. Yeah. I know. That and the score tool, those just little handy little tools yeah they do they do sort of disappear it's that day when you open your toolbox and you've got like two and you're like oh no it was me oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's me all the time try to sneak it back in before anyone notices yeah i i'm definitely a, a, a unintentional studio yeah. thief i do i just pile everything up the other day i took the trimmer out oh, okay and that's not even a small little no, thing no <laughs> no i can't say i've done the trimmer before <laughs> It is funny though, isn't it? We yeah, it absolutely. Um, luckily, we've always got plenty of tools yeah, in the office. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're, we're not sure. Um, good morning to everybody joining us. Um, I'm just actually on YouTube first. Good morning to Anne. Good morning to Anastasia. Good morning to Jeannie. Good morning to Sarah W. Good morning, Leanne. Um, so good to have you joining us. Lots of people saying it's muggy and overcast yeah, as well. Yeah, it's not as nice today at all, is it? No, we, um, it's definitely we... not. We went out for a bike ride last night. Um, oh, it, did you go? Yeah, it was quite nice though, because it wasn't actually too warm. I don't know, it feels warmer today than it was last night. It's weird. 
Okay, so what I've done is I've sort of cut some of the eyes out there. Obviously, these are a little bit fussy. Um, so I'm going to go in with my craft knife and just taking it easy around the eyes. It's not really the eyes that's the issue. It's this where they sort of connect. Yeah. So just being quite careful around yeah. here. Little antenna -y bits can be a bit tricky. They can, can't they? they can. And usually, you know, to be fair, on like butterflies and things, I've just snipped them off, but I don't really think we can take them off. I don't think he'd look right. <laughs> no, no, probably not, because they are his eyes. They are so. his eyes. I mean, he won't be able to see where he's going. It's, <laughs> no. It's just dangerous for everybody involved. <laughs> um, but what I, what I, you know, if you did end up um, taking one of the eyes off by accident you could add some like little googly eyes or something to make it a little bit more fun as well so oh, that would be fun you know there's always a way uh, and then I'm just going to do inside here where the little tail is as well um, and that's not too bad because it's connected so we'll just go in and get that little bit there so that's our first layer that's just going to sit on here and you know you can leave it at that you can just do one or yeah. two layers you don't have to go crazy with that decoupage so my second layer is just going to be the mouse okay and i'm going to take his tail off this time um because a little bit skinny yeah just a bit too a little bit too much and it's not going to add anything to the design like to the card it's not going to be like a the bit that makes you go wow on this card so there's yeah. just no point putting yourself through that yeah. hassle of cutting that out. Absolutely, and you can't fit, and none of our foam pads will fit behind exactly. there. Exactly. So it's just worth getting that more professional finish and just leaving it off. Definitely. Um, Let's get around his big ears, bless him. So cute. Uh, it is super, super sweet. Just whilst you're fussy cutting, good morning to everybody joining on our Facebook this morning. Um, Tanya, blue sky and 28 degrees here oh, in Rhodes, Greece. I was going to say, Tanya's in Greece. We said to her last week we wanted to go with her and she, she did well. She was, she watched with us yesterday as well. Oh, amazing. We are so glad that you've took us with you. Um, we wish we were actually there, but this yeah. is the next best thing. Yeah. Um, good morning to Heather. Good morning to Brenda. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Janet. Good morning, Blair. Good morning, Nelly. She said, um, answer, she thinks is B, lights and shared. Love this gorgeous kit so much. It's so cute, isn't it? I, yeah, I think that's why it's been incredibly popular. Yeah, definitely. Um, we didn't even know whether we'd even get to this craft along. I know, like. I know. It's um, It's been so, so popular. So I'm just going to give his little ears a little shape. So oh, just going cute. in with our um, embossing tools. And we just sort of shaped the ears out, but then shaped the body in if you will yeah um so it just gives us a little bit of extra sort of dimension on there and then i'm just going to do the same on here i'm just going to go around like the shell and it just gives it that more sort of curved feel yeah makes it look a bit more lifelike it does it? it does and you can sort of set this with your foam pads as well so once you actually stick this down you can sort of set this if you're using um like your pin flare glue gel you can sort of set it even more it will oh yeah sort of stick to that shape even better but you can do quite a good job with foam pads as well yeah yeah the foam pads are great we've got loads and loads of all your sizes for your decoupage and we do also sell pin flare glue we do yeah um, we absolutely do yeah so we stock loads of different brands and pin flare glue is one of those so whatever you prefer for your finish we have okay just gonna grab different foam pads just to get all the sort of areas covered here so we're going to get this one on first oh my gosh his ears are just too cute i love them and then just going in with our second layer here as well so i'll just get in his little bottom as well there oh cute <laughs> i love this sophie sleeps like this with a bum up in the air Oh. It's very cute. It's very cute. But I love like if I just tip that up so you can see oh, like yeah. that sort of curve we've got in his little ears there. It just looks so cute, doesn't it? Really, really sweet. adds to it. Um, okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to create. Now this is something that I've seen on social, a few different social groups, um, and it's like a, a torn section in the centre of a paper. Okay? I'm excited and then we, like, for this. Roll this back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come sort of to the edge of my paper, maybe about an inch in. And just tear, trying to keep it roughly straight yeah. along the edge to about there. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Now I need to do it this way. Now, how did I do it before? I tested this. Yeah, because depending on which way you rip it gives a different sort it of white does. core, doesn't it? I need it? to do it that Oh, which way did I do it? Because I did it. I got white on both sides. 
how did I do this? Oh, that's it, towards, that's why. Towards you. Oof, I was having a right With moment air. then. Right moment. Okay, so then we've got this sort of look. Um, I'm gonna hold this over, because this is actually gonna go over our image, so I'm gonna hold it over and just see how that's gonna fit. Oh, cute. Um, so that's not actually bad. Um, it's given us quite a nice sort of look there. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my um, score tool. Okay. To give this a little bit of a curve now, because we want to roll this section up. I'm actually just going to remove that little piece there. And um, we want to roll this up. So just give it a really good sort of curve with your um, score tool. So you get that sort of look, and that just really helps to to get it going backwards. Yeah, of course. Um, and then just encourage the whole piece now, like this, and then we'll be able to roll this back now um, and it doesn't have to be like really really tight it's not like um, a quilling type thing or anything like that you don't have to be super neat with it either we're just rolling this back so it looks it's gonna look like we've torn this section up just to reveal that gorgeous little snoozy sleepy mouse oh, on the inside um, so it can sort of sit like this so we're gonna stick this on with some foam pads obviously so it lifts up a little there as well yeah um, but it's just quite a cute little technique. So the, yeah. the one, the cards I've seen with this on social have been like, um, this has been white and then it's revealing like a coloured image on the inside. Oh, but I yeah. thought it's actually quite cute to have the double sided paper because then you can see the design on the back as well, yes. like when it's rolled back. It's actually quite cute. Yeah, it's a really fun technique. Um, because it is still like I wouldn't say it's obviously like monochromatic, but because it is quite a limited colour palette, this is it like you've got the purple yep. and the green. It's really striking. Definitely. And then we'll just pop some of our squares along the top to get this in place. And then I think one layer should be enough. I don't think we need to to double up. So then just lay this on. So I've cut this to the exact same size as my little book page. Uh, oh yeah. So that I know it's gonna fit over perfectly, but it's still gonna give us that lovely sort of mirror edge there. Um, and you can play around with this. If you want it to be more sort of dimensional, you can you know, lift it up. You can sort of twist it to the side a little bit to get it looking a little bit more. Um, so you can see all the torn edges. Yeah. Um, you could even sort of stick it down if you wanted to secure it in place, but that paper actually holds quite well yeah really um, well so it will sort of keep that shape um so we just need to add a couple of bits and pieces on here now just to finish this off so i've got a little border and i've got a little birthday wishes sentiment that i'm going to pop up here oh, lovely and then i've got another sentiment which i'm going to pop at the bottom which says there's no nicer friend than you which oh. i'm just going to tuck in behind there so um super cute little card um, you know, there's a little get well sentiment that goes with this as well, which is lovely. So, you know, it really depends on what what occasion you're making this for. You've got all sorts of sentiments you can choose. So we'll just pop that one in underneath there and then we'll get that. this up here. It's very cute, isn't it? Yeah, such a fun technique. It is, and this is something you can recreate with anything. You know, oh, yeah. absolutely any paper pa uh, papers that you've got at home, any sort of toppers and things. And it's so nice to do it in this like craft along because I don't really think we've showcased this technique before. Um, so it's so nice to just do something like really fun and different. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love that border at the top too. It's just cute, isn't it? It just adds a little bit of something at that top top section because it is a little bit sparse up there. Yeah. So it just helps bring a little bit little bit of interest up at the top there and then we're going to pop this onto a card blank i was going to leave it just plain white but i actually um liked this one oh yeah behind here i think that'll be quite nice so i'm actually going to cover the front of my card with that uh, paper so rather than um cutting down to the right size and then sticking it on i quite like to to do it like this so that then i know it's going to be the exact right size put my tape on stick my paper on and then trim it down yeah absolutely so, turn the paper over because obviously you want the polka dots on the front line up those two corners at uh, two sides even not corners like that and then we can go in with our craft knife and just trim off the other two sides uh is this a seven by five uh it's actually just under it's in between six by four and seven by five oh, okay yeah um, because obviously our little book pages are sort of bang on six by four. Yeah. Um, but I wanted a little bit of a board around it, so 
it's a little bit in between. Yeah, so oh, that's perfect though. It will fit in a five by seven envelope Yeah. Um, still, but yeah, it's quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, And then we'll put that whole thing on using some foam pads just to, uh, again, just give it that little bit of lift. It's just so cute. Yeah, Tanya says, this is such a fun technique. Need to get myself a notebook so I can remember all the great ideas. Jamberry says, beautiful card, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Um, oh, Lynn Presley has just bought my diamond membership. I was woo, waiting woo. to get paid. Welcome to the Diamond Club. How exciting. So exciting. Um, you're going to absolutely love it. You're going to love that free kit when it arrives oh, as you're well. You're going to love that free kit. You're going to love the diamond deals. You're going to love the 10% discount. Um, priority shipping. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Or priority dispatch, sorry, not shipping. Priority dispatch. Um, and then we'll just add an insert on here as well. So I've not chosen this yet. So let me see uh, if I actually brought them. Did I bring them with me? I may not have done. I don't think I did. Do you want to have one of these? Yeah, we, we have, have them. One. Yeah, no inserts. Let's have a little look. Uh, it's not an Anne Marie card without an insert, guys. Well, no, exactly. So let's see. Oh, there we go. I mean, we kind of need oh, that one, yes, don't we? Oh, yes, definitely. So let's just grab that one. I'll give you those back and then I can just replace that one. Yep, you've got it we go out, <laughs> out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Thank so you. So what we could do is we could cut it to the right size, but because this is actually big enough for us to do a folded insert, we're going to do one of those. So I'm going to just line this up size wise. Okay. So yep. we're gonna go gonna go about here. So that is where I know I need to sort of do a little score. Now we don't need to score our inserts, but just to make sure that this is gonna be the right size. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna line that up. And I'm not scoring to a specific measurement, I'm just popping that score in so that I can then fold this. And again, just trim that little oh, bit there that we don't yeah, need. Yeah, that's such a great tip. So let's get our, we'll do, use our trimmer for this. This feels much more sensible. So we can just trim along there. And then we know that that's gonna be the right width when we pop that in. Let's have a look. So it leaves us that edge all the way around like your inserts yep. would traditionally do. So then just again to get the sort of right height, just line it in again and just put a little pencil mark and then we can just cut that. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. And then we should be able to just pop this in, um, just make sure it's the right way. So tape on one side, a little bit of tape on the other side as well. And then we can... Oh, so it'll be a nice loose, yeah, the very traditional style of doing yeah. it, isn't it? A nice loose insert in the middle, I love that. So pop this in up to your score line. Don't ever go over your score line or else your card will actually fold and it'll make a real mess of your insert. And then take that little bit of tape off, fold that down and then it will just grab it. So it will just open oh, as you open so the card. Oh, so cute. So very cute, isn't it? I just adore that image. I just think it's so, so sweet. Ah, uh, absolutely. It's lovely. Yeah, and you can change that, you know, however you want. You could do oh, bigger definitely. torn edges, yeah. leave it off, put yeah. it on, put it on a bigger card. Definitely. The choice is yours. A uh, few people saying they just love the fussy cutting and we'll probably just put that on a card. Good, I like that um, as well. Absolutely, you can change it. That's the wonderful, like the joy of crafting is it's it's totally unique to you, um, but such a nice technique to show us because it's just so unusual and so yeah, different. Yeah, it's just a little bit different. And like I say, it's something I've seen quite a lot on social and it's something I wanted to do and yeah. I forget about it. I mean, I'm sure you're exactly like me. I see all these things and I, I screenshot as well. Oh, I yeah, do me that. Too. My phone's just full of screenshots of cards, pictures of my children <laughs> and food <laughs> recipes. That's like genuinely it. Um, and I also, I just forget, so it's been nice to like actually have a think about this yesterday and I was like oh I could do that yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah it was quite nice definitely and especially with our little books and bite-sized books like we do we love showing you guys different ideas because we can sometimes do the same thing with them so it's definitely nice to yeah. do a little bit of something different so thank you Anne-Marie you're welcome and um, we've got another demo coming up and it's going to be fabulous and um, so if you want to craft along with us um you just need your club gift and we have included a couple of the extras. Um, yeah, and you can always watch it back. We've done it start to finish. We've given you, um, you know, measurements that you may need. So hopefully you will be able to recreate these projects at home. Okay, what's next? Oh my goodness, what's next on the list? This beautiful 
foiled cardstock. It's lovely, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Our foiled edge to edge cardstock. Eight sheets of adorable scoreable. Let me move the iPad out of the way. Four colours, two of each. And you can just see this gold foiling is stunning. If you haven't got this and you've already got this in your club gift, add this to your next order. You really won't regret it. Um, it's stunning. It's all foiled in gold, so it'll match your toppers and your collection absolutely perfectly. And it's just so nice. It's, it's delicate and it's subtle, but it's just the right amount. Yeah. Um, you get those foiled lines just in those blossoms there. So you're going to get two pieces of each. Oh, you can just see it glistening away. This one as well, um, with those sort of ditzy flowers, you get those um, sort of purple spots as well. So it's going to marry up perfectly with that. Maybe that card I Marie did, you did use that purple pattern in the inserts yeah. and papers. So everything is going to marry up really, really nicely. There's cardstock to match this in the kit. There's pages in the little book that match this. Um, so you can definitely be um, chopping and changing, trying a few ideas and just, you know, getting a real feel for this kit. We've got the butterflies as well. I mean, oh my goodness, look at them absolutely stunning so we've got the um sort of filled in butterflies here with the colored printed and then those foiled little outline butterflies as well stunning all on that sky blue background so you're going to get two of those beautiful little gingham as well little bit of foiled gingham really really cute so nice mixture of colors there for you getting the pink the blue the purple and the yellow. So four ninety nine, really nice little cheap add on yeah, for your basket. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and lovely spring and summer patterns that are just going to go perfectly with that kit. Um, we've also, if you fancy doing a little bit of something different with our um, Miri, if you don't fancy going for that sort of gold look, we have put together a fabulous Miri card essentials for this one. So as always, Miri is a little bit tricky. It loves our lights here at Hunky Dory TV. Um, but we've got the um, the pink Miri. I'm not great at Miri colours. I'm <laughs> Honestly, don't look at me. Oh my goodness. I'm awful at all the names. Um, cardstock colours, I'm not too bad, but Miri, yeah. I definitely, the odd one I can do. Um, you, so you get in a really nice mixture in here that's just going to go perfectly with, you know, perhaps you want to um, do your little books in a different colour. Yeah. Um, or anything like that. This one as well. It's is just such good value. It's great value. for five ninety nine. Even if you're not using it with this collection. Oh, definitely. You're just building up your stash. It's just such fantastic value. It's always worth grabbing these essentials when we've got them on deals like this. Yeah, definitely. Because as well, like you know, it's it's a pack that's been put together. So even like you say, if you just like these colours, yeah. it's a great way to get them whilst they're in this special bundle. Um, because it saves you having to buy like sort of 20 sheets of the soft exactly. blueberry, 20 yeah, sheets yeah. of the rose gold. Um, so if you just want a little little taster of our coloured mirror, yeah. you get it in this one. This is soft blueberry. Okay. This one I do yeah. know. And this one as well is this really bright green. Perfect if you've got Christmas crafting yes, coming up. Yes, definitely. Amazing. It is that real Christmas tree green. But you can just see it. It's going to work perfectly with your summer crafting as well. I mean, it's just brilliant. This is a printed cardstock, so would not look out of place with this green mirror. No, absolutely it not. It is fabulous. Okay. So before we get on to our next project from Anne-Marie, shall we have a look at some card mates from the Ooh, team? Yeah. Oh, yes. We have got loads to show so you. So many. Um, and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Shall we go on this one? Oh, aren't they cute? We've got this one with our little ribbon, the three toppers, absolutely jam-packed, but it looks really good for it. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. We've got some that are a little bit of fussy cutting. Like Anne-Marie said, this kit is perfect. I mean, how cute are those sides? They just fold up. It's like a little DIY gatefold. It's really, so sweet. really sweet. Um, love this one too absolutely gorgeous again the fussy cutting potential is incredible i think they were both mine were they <laughs> yeah. the queen the of fussy queen. cutting herself um and you know even that like we were saying gorgeous. about home decor projects yeah. this is just one of our handmade card so boxes sweet. um so you can pick these up on our website yeah. Yeah. and just pop in those um elements you could pop in your little books it's anything adorable. you like and it's adorable isn't it happy new home what a sweet little handmade present and it's got a little um stopper at the back yeah so you can put it on a it table yeah. or a, a sideboard gorgeous 
little peeping mice there. Oh, I love that. Bringing in a bit of our acetate there as well. What a stunning look. Just peeping over that corner. Yeah. Again, we have just all loved fussy cutting. <laughs> We we love We're a little fussy bit cutting. To the fussy cutting. Um, we do this fabulous stepper with that foiled cardstock. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? That cardstock. It really, really is. Um, love the little pop of pink there. Have a very nice day. Little smaller cards again, using a similar sort of technique where yeah, you're rolling back cute. those sides. Yeah turning over those corners so you can have a little bit of a peek. Um, so again, if you want to do Anne Marie's demo in a bit more of a subtle way, you could just yeah. turn up the corner. Yeah, definitely. You know, so many potential um, ideas for this. Again, bringing in our acetate, making Aww. some little bit of a bigger cards. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it's a bit better on this one, isn't it, Gemma, with the taller cards. Love that panel. And we've got those gemstones in there. We're going to show you those as well um, after our second demo. And before we leave you, and again, we've got this one, our big eight by eight card as well. Love the lilac in that. So many different cards here that we're showing you. Um, oh, just gorgeous, isn't it? It really is. And because you get so much in this kit, yeah. you can be making these oh, lovely, busy, definitely. big cards yeah. because you can just add everything in. And I think it's one of those collections that if you want to do a bit more is more, it really just doesn't look out of place. There's so much detail in here. Um, or if you just want to matte and layer, pop a topper on, quick and simple cards yep, definitely. Um, are going to be amazing for this. So whatever kind of crafting you like, it is perfect. Again, best value is in that bundle with your free gift, your inserts, your papers, your bite-sized book and your matastic. Um, oh, I love <laughs> this one. It's so cute. They're so cute. Um, love this little four by eight as well. Sweet and simple card making. Yeah. Um, really pretty. I love that big tulip that he's holding there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It really, really is. Um, the designers just do an incredible job. And again, a little bit more of that fussy cutting as well. Um, so some stunning makes from the team. They are really, really incredible. Um, and hopefully we've given you lots of inspiration to be getting your club gift out if you have already received it. Um, I think I might just do the Win It Weekly question as well before we flip to Anne-Marie. I know she's got a big, long demo and I do not want to talk over her <laughs> measurements. So if you want to be in with the chance to win that amazing Curious Cats luxury topper collection, um, such an amazing prize, um, like and share, please. And again, get your answers in. How many gifts in total were given in the 12 days of Christmas song? Is it A, 217, B, 364, or C, 432? Phew, it's a lot, isn't it's it? It's a lot, isn't it? It's a big, big Christmas list. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, even at just 217, oh, it's that's enough, an awful it? lot of gifts. It's yeah. more than enough. <laughs> Anne Marie, shall we stick with you for your second project? Yes, of course. So, what we're going to make now is uh, one of my favourite projects is featured in one of our adorable scoreboard handbooks, scoreboard handbooks. Um, and we're going to make a little set of drawers. So, the first thing we need to do is cut the sort of outers for these drawers if you will so i've already trimmed my cardstock because that's the boring bit um so i have cut this to nine and a quarter or oh, let me put that up so you can see nine and a quarter by four and one eighth and you need two of those okay and then you also need two eight by eight pieces for your actual drawers so we've got two of those and then we need a six by six piece for our lid okay so we'll start with the outers and what we need to do is score these at four and one eighth, which is there, and eight and a quarter, which is there. And then that gives us like a little one inch tab. Oh yeah. And then we do the same on this one, four and one eighth, and eight and a quarter. And then we just need to cut the little edges off here to create like the tabs, if you will. Oops. There we go. And then again here as well, like that. So that's our sort of outers done. So we yeah. can pop those to one side. Um, and next we're going to make the drawers. So these are the eight inch squares and we're going to score at uh, two inches all the way around. So nice and easy, just like any normal sort of box, if you will. Yeah. So two inches and then we will pop these together to make the actual drawers to this one as well. I feel like I've cut this a little bit funny. It wouldn't line up then. It wouldn't, oh. it wouldn't butt up in the corner. 
I must have cut it a little bit squiffy. Oh, okay. You know, but it's fine. Two inches all the way around. Oh, amazing. And you could do two and six if you prefer to do that. I just prefer to score and spin. Oh, it's score and spin. One measure. Yeah, One absolutely. measuring. <laughs> and then our lid, which is our six by six piece, we're going to uh, score it one inch all the way around. Yeah. So this is the lid for the little drawers to go on to. And what I like about this project is you can make this with... Um, this is with two drawers in. You can make it with three or four. You just need to make sure you increase the uh, sleeve. So where this was um, four, four and one eighth, you need to um, add another two inches on. So you'd make six for three drawers, okay, yeah. eight for four drawers. And then after that, you would need um, a three cardstock. Yeah. But you absolutely can extend that anyway at any time. Um, but we're just going to stick with the two for this. So that's our scoreboard done for now so we can pop that out of the way next I'm going to pop the drawers together first so I am um, going to cut in along the two straight and then cut a wedge out so that we can make that box and when I am doing this uh, it's just a little probably just a little crazy Virgo perfectionist thing but I always like to do the opposite sides because okay. uh, in the book I'll show you in the book it shows like this so you do the corners like that if you do all your corners like that you're always going to have every side's always going to have a like an edge showing oh yeah 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 you know every, every yeah like side. you can't hide them. yeah whereas okay. if you do opposite ones like this um you're going to have one side that's always kind of neat uh, two sides which are always kind of neat so what i'll do is i'll I'll do this one like this and then I'll do the other one that way and I'll show you the difference because it's quite hard to explain. Um, so I'll do this one. Oh, the tips sort of come stays. free of charge, guys. <laughs> it's just a little thing and it's not everybody does it. It's just one of those little things that I find because I, I, it's just, it must just be the Virgo in me, it must be. No, but it's really useful to know because I know that whenever I read, like, um, if I read a magazine page or a book, I'm like, right, I must do it to the left. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't have even known that because I think, well, that's it, that's the way, yes, that's how that's you how do it. it. Yeah. And it's, you know, I just would never have even thought to be like, well, maybe if I did it this way, it would be a little bit neater. Yeah. So, um, so that's really useful. Let's pop these together. Now, I'm just using tape. Um, if I was doing this at home, spending a little bit more time, use construction glue and um, sort of peg it just so that it uh, stays in place while it dries um, or use your um, high craft glue, high tack tape, yeah, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm just too lazy to cut the uh, high tack tape. So it, it can be a little bit tricky. Yeah, so I'm just going to use the regular tape for this. For what we need, it's absolutely fine. So pop it on to your tabs like this, and then we will fold along all these scores to make our little drawers. Anne Marie, everyone was loving your insert tip from before, you know. Oh really? Yeah. Um, absolutely. Myra Langdon says definitely using that insert tip in the future. Oh good. Um, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful loving, news. loving wonderful, that. Wonderful. Right, so taking all the tape off here and then we can stick it. So I'm just grabbing oh, this is this is pesky tape. And Viv Williams says, Virgos are a nightmare. Laughing face. Yeah. Um I know because I'm one too. <laughs> yeah. We're troublesome. We are troublesome. Um I don't know what it is because I'm not a perfectionist about most things. A lot of things I, I really am like like my cards and and things but then I'm quite happy to to have like an untidy like front room with all the toys out whereas Mark's like we need to tidy up there's toys everywhere oh I'm like, yeah fine. <laughs> so yeah I think it's just but then to be I fair, am... if you tidied up the toys in your front room that would last like what two minutes oh it, it did <laughs> yeah yesterday uh we did that we got home Bearing in mind, Mark was working from home yesterday. So he cut the grass okay. on his lunch, yeah. but just didn't do anything in the front room. So the whole house is like immaculate, apart from the front room where it's just like Toys R Us has exploded. Okay. Um, so I was like, oh, why didn't you tidy up? Because his mum comes around on a Monday night. Yeah. So I was like, why, why have you not tidied up when your mum's like on her way 
Um, so we just shut the front room door and went and sat in the garden with her instead. Oh, lovely. Well, it was nice <laughs> enough to do that. But yeah, honestly, he tidied up while she was in the bath. She came down and within 10 minutes, it was exactly the same. So I'm like, there's just no point. Just leave it. Absolutely not. Just leave it. Okay, so this is our one where we've done opposite sides. So can you see how this has got a really clean edge? And this has got the edges showing. Yeah. Like, it's quite tricky to see. Can you see the, the whites of the card? Whereas that way, there's no whites of the card showing it. It's really, really neat. Yep. This one, because we've got cuts on every corner, every single side is going to have that sort of white showing. I see, yeah. So it's not going to look as neat. Oops. Such a great tip. It's it's just a little thing. It is just, it's quite minor, but... I, w I was just about to say, it's very... <laughs> I was like, it that doesn't look too bad. But yeah, absolutely. It's, be it's, best, it's better it's to get a, a neater finish yeah, than, than not. Absolutely. So then this one, you've got the white edge there, you've got the white edge there, you've got a white edge there, and you've got it on that corner as well. So no side has got a white free edge. It is yeah. such a minimal little thing, but it's just one of my my yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what <laughs> these craft alongs are for, you know, start to finish projects and we can we can squeeze these tips in so that they are really useful. Okay, so then this is the sleeve that's going to go around the outside. So basically these two drawers are going to stack. Yep. And these sleeves are going to go around the outside edge like this. Oh, I'm so excited for okay. this. Um, and we're going to stick one drawer to one side like this and one drawer to this side. So they open up like that so they sort of interlock okay so let's get these sides together first so again double-sided tape on this tab we actually don't need that other tab that's on the other piece so we'll just take this one off here stick these together first let me just do it the other way around like this again just making sure we're not going too far over that score because we want to make sure that it can still fold and then we will actually cut this tab off because we don't need it so i'm just cutting along there um, and then we're going to stick these drawers in now so we need to stick the bottom one is going to stick to this section and the middle one I'm going to stick, oh, do they stick together? Oh, they can actually stick in the corner, I think. Oh, let's do that, stick in the corners, yeah. So this one to these two pieces and this one to these two pieces. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pop my tape. Uh, I'm going to put it directly onto my outer. So knowing that I've got a two inch deep drawer, I know I can sort of go up to that kind of height there. So let's get this off here, first of all. And you can do this in stages. Um, you can take this tape off, stick that one, and then take that tape off if you would prefer. So then I'm going to pop my, let's pop this this way. I'm going to pop my drawer into here. And I'm just lining it up to the bottom, but sort of central in that panel. So there's like a tiny little gap either side. Yeah, nice little tiny it's, bit of. It is absolutely tiny, can you see? Yeah. Um, so just sort of keeping it in the middle. And then you can sort of fold that up and then secure the drawer on the other side. So you know it's gonna fit that fold nicely. You know, it's gonna fold around perfectly there. Yes. And then we're gonna do the same over here, but obviously we need to put the tape at the top. So I'm gonna turn it around just because it's a bit easier and put the tape at the top here. Like this. And again, just grab the tape off both of these. Oh, Susan Dodd on YouTube has said she's ordered an extra of the edge-to-edge -edge foil cardstock because it's so oh, lovely. It's so beautiful. It isn't is it? absolutely, and all of the, I love that all of the extras that we've added with this are so reasonable as well. Yeah. Um, you know, like some of them are just sort of four ninety nine, five ninety nine. So if you do want little extra bits for this, um, definitely worth stocking up on. Hundred percent. So you can see now how that has come together. Um, so this is where I was saying, like, if you wanted to add another drawer, if you added another two inches to the depth of your outer, you could have a third drawer here. So you would have that sort of uh, triple 
sort of interlocking thing. But these drawers are just so cute um, for so many different things. You can, let me turn it around for you, that's better. Um, so you can line your inside of here. So before you stick your drawers in, you can yeah. line it with your papers and you know make it really pretty. Um, but just for time, um, we are gonna um, do the lid and we're gonna add some panels onto here, but not absolutely low. So let's get the lid um, done. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing with this where I do my opposite corners. So there. And there, just taking out those little wedges and then just flip it over and just mirror what we've done on that side. And then we can add some of our gorgeous toppers and some of our papers as well. So tape on here, again, just our regular tape for me, but whatever you prefer to use when you're doing your boxes and construction. Oops. go and then just give everything a fold before we take off the tape so we know it's going to fold into the corners nice and neatly there we go and then just grab all that tape and we'll pop this together and then we can get on with the decorating oh amazing so if you don't want to use your adorable score for uh, blah, 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 adorable scorable for this you could just use your plain white cardstock and then do your mats and layers on here to add a bit of color um but it's it's quite affordable to use your adorable scorable i think yeah definitely um especially with this kit as well and you just know that the colors are going to be great if you want to exactly. add your toppers or your papers and they they have been designed to match perfectly um linda Grimes says this has to be Anne marie's box of tricks i love it why does my lid not fit why does my lid not fit this is not okay we've done it the same size as the book yes <laughs> I was going to say, you've not just wildly changed measurements, because sometimes I do this. I haven't. No, I've done it exactly the same as the book. Oh, no. We're going to have to make another lid. This is not okay. Um, okay, so. Do you need some more cardstock? Uh, no, I'm going to use the foil one, actually. Oh, lovely. Yeah, let's use the foil one. But this is not okay. So when I said you needed to cut a six by six inch square, don't do that, because um, we've clearly got a little bit of a fib. I may have an old book that maybe had a correction in. So that comes out at literally four, and this is four and one eighth, isn't it? So this is why your scoreboard is incredible because these are maths that I can't do. Oh, I know. <laughs> did you do it on the lid side as well? I did, yeah. Okay. I did it on the lid side. I did I was it on the lid side. Um, so I'm thinking, right, we need, no, I can do this. We need four and, Let's four and a quarter plus two inches for the sides, don't I? So six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, yeah. Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> six and a quarter. It was all going so well. Right. Yeah, a couple of people were like me. Did you have you scored it on the lid side? Yeah, you were on the lid I definitely side. Did. Definitely on the lid side. Right, let's give this a whirl. So one inch. You... All the way around. Six and a quarter. I thought the left was the base. No, box lid, lid left. Lid left, lid oh left. that's handy. Yeah, 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 this is like my firstborn, so I'm fully aware of lid left. Oh, that's amazing, I did not, lid left, I'm so, yeah. even though it says on there, I'm still gonna remember lid left now. Yeah. This is genuinely um, <laughs> like my actual small child. I yeah, know it inside course. out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it usually does all the hard work for you, but yeah, this, uh, I'm not blaming the board. Oh no, it was just an extra eighth of an inch, wasn't it? And yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit tight. Let's have a look. Before I stick this, I'm just going to fold these two sides in. Oh, that's going to be better. You can see already that is going to oh, fit. Oh yeah. Fine. So we can stick it. We can go with it. Oh, honestly, I don't need these kind of dramas in my life. To be honest, though, it. It's a blessing in disguise because well, that is beautiful cardstock. It is, and hopefully none of you are actually going to make this mistake at home either. No, no, absolutely. But I am aware there were a few um, measurement errors in the very first handbook, um, and they were amended in the reprints and things, so I think I probably have yeah, I think, a V1. Yeah, I think um, Pina Rand's just said her book does say um, six and a quarter as yeah. well, so absolutely. 
Um, oh, Jackie says, I've always wanted to make one of these boxes. Thank you, oh, Anne Marie. Oh, amazing. Well, I hope you do. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm going to hold you to this. If you say you, you're going to make one, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to chase you up till you've made one and sent me a picture. Oh, we love it. <laughs> okay, so pop these corners in now. Um, yeah, we do. I've had some incredible craft pictures this week on my Oh, on have my you? Page. Yeah, I, I got the, um, the acetate. Go. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Okay, so I'm just going to do some bits and pieces on the sides now. So I have taken... Um, some of this double-sided paper and I've cut some sections to go on my drawers so obviously we only see two sides of these drawers so we only need two mats and layers Ooh, nice. so I've just taken some of that stripy paper and I'm not going to mat and layer with gold I'm just going to pop these straight on and keep it sort of quite muted yeah and then I've got some of this for the sides as well which again I'm just going to trim down and pop those on and then I'm going to add some toppers and bits and pieces so um, sorry to interrupt you then you was sharing you telling us about your pictures oh yeah uh no it's fine i would totally rather you um got all your information out i was just saying i've had some incredible like um pictures um from our crafters at home myra sent me the acetate greenhouse oh which my is goodness Oh, I'll have to show it you after the show. It's, fab it's fabulous. Um, Tracy again sent me another really someone cool did, card. Someone did, because I remember commenting on one, because someone did, I, I saw something come up and I was like, oh my goodness, that's incredible. It might have been the greenhouse. Yeah, it, it probably was. It, it really is a stunner. Um, so absolutely, if you do make anything inspired by our demos, send us, Share them, send them yeah, in. Yeah, definitely. We love to see your makes. Um, and I did a stepper on the Twas show and someone said, oh, that was such an easy demo. I've, I've recreated Aww. it that day. And this is why we do what we do. So definitely, if you're making Anne Marie's box home, she wants to see it, guys. I do, I do. I don't want to see a, a six inch lid. I want to see six and a quarter inch lids. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we'll just get um, this one on the other side. I did think when I cut it, I was like, six inches, really? I was like, no, trust trust, trust the book. Okay, there we go. So that's our two sort of drawers covered. So then we'll come to the sides. So I cut this down to, let me just check the measurement of this, uh, to three notches under four, uh, which just gives us a nice chunky-ish little border all Love the way it. around and it also makes sure that we sort of just have enough like that's literally the little strip left over if we made it any bigger we would struggle to get it out of the um the a4 so we can pop those two on those two sides and then we'll do the same here so three notches under four yeah it does just give you that little bit more room it does and there's nothing wrong with ever doing that either you know if you're thinking well actually if i just cut it a little bit a bigger a little bit of a bigger mat and layer yeah I, i'd end up with a little bit more cardstock to use or whatever like it's, just do it it's absolutely fine you've got to make it work for you haven't you yeah absolutely and it, it's worth doing you'd rather have that than run out of paper yeah. and cardstock. okay so then we'll get these two sides on oh and clark has just said um as and has just asked a little question mm -hmm. do you think that if you left the other tab on you could add a velcro dot you could, yeah, and make a, a clasp opening to make like a little closing on it you absolutely could yeah so if you if we'd have left that on you could bring it around uh, and have a little clasp here you could even cut it and just leave a little section like a little oh, tab yeah. like that you know rather than the full size tab but yeah you definitely could do that um yeah you could use velcro dots you could use yeah nice you brads. could use little magnets yeah, yeah little, definitely. even just ribbon you could pop some ribbon through oh, there ribbon, and tie it yeah. up yeah um, there's all sorts of ways you can actually secure it if you want to. Yeah, so thank you so much for your question, Anne. It's um, definitely so helpful for just other ways that you yeah, can definitely. make it a bit unique. Yeah, 100%. I mean, maybe you make it into like a little jewellery box. Oh, that would look gorgeous. You know, um, it would be really sweet doing that. Um, or like hair clips and bobbles and things. Yeah, all those, all those pesky little items that are just a bit cluttery. Yeah. Or maybe it's crafty bits and pieces. Maybe you've just got loads of little sentiments, you know, and you just want to keep them in a little a little box. You've just pushed them all out of your toppers. It's all like your little scraps of things. You can put those in here. Oh, 
uh, yeah, that would be an incredible project for this because it's such a good size for all your toppers. It is, yeah, because they're two inches deep, the boxes. Well, an inch deep, sorry. Um, they're quite chunky. Yeah. So you can actually fit quite a bit in there. Yeah, definitely. And your toppers, once they're in there, they'll lay nice and flat. So, yeah. perfect. Okay, so just pop this one onto here. Oops, there we go. Um, and then I've taken some of these little toppers. Oh, perfect. Which just fit so well, don't they? Yes. Um, so we've got the little washing one. I'm just going to put two on the, because this is like sort of the front, if you will. Yeah. So they're the bits that you'll see mostly. So that's, we're only going to pop toppers on there. Uh, and I'm going to pop them on flat as well, because obviously I don't want them to interfere with the lid. Um, although Wise let me choice. see. Let me pop the lid on and see if, there's, if we can bring them down. So we can still see them. No, I quite like them central still and the lid just covering yeah. them ever so slightly. Yeah, it's really cute, that. And the square shapes of the toppers that you've chosen, it just makes yeah, it all I, really uniform. I did push these out as well, but I thought once the lid's on, yeah. it's going to cover up a little bit too much of those. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, no, I'll save those to use on a card. So we can just put little Sleepy Mouse. Oh, cute. On there. And then we'll pop a uh, little Washing Mouse on the other side. This one is definitely one of my faves. Look at her doing the washing. Oh, or him. I know. Or him. It could be, could be, oh, it could be him doing the washing. Oops. There we go. And then let's pop something on the lid as well. I feel like we can't not have something on the lid. Let's have a look. Where's my other? Oh, it's here. I've already got it out. Oh, my goodness. This. I think will be perfect. Oh my goodness, yes. Wow, have you ever seen a more perfect fit? Oh, <laughs> that is wonderful. And then I think, let's have a look. We could maybe put a couple of sentiments on the sides, or maybe, no, we'll leave those in case, you know, you might want to personalise it with um, labels for what's going in there. Oh yeah. You know, so I'm going to take my pips off running around with my scissors and then I'm gonna grab this because we can pop some foam pads on the top yeah of course yeah so I'm gonna just take that inner frame out I do want to use all the frames I'm just gonna do them at different heights so it gives us a bit more of a dimensional look so I'll just take that out there so I'm gonna pop this one on first and we're gonna go in with our strips I feel like I have some somewhere here um, I'm just going to cut them down. I think they'll fit perfectly, but I just want to, rather than have them right up to the edge, just give myself a bit of room and trim those down. Oh, I love this. It's just such a cute little project. I mean, it could be um, absolutely for anything. It could be maybe like for, um, I mean, I know Father's Day is gone, but like maybe like a, a male birthday. And it could be for like screws and oh, things oh, you know yeah, yeah. stuff change like up, that yeah maybe if you changed it to like sort of the blue one because it's quite unisex this kid yeah absolutely um, little daddy mouse on there or you could do it for new baby little bits yeah um you know maybe put some sweet obviously small bits but you could fit like little socks you could or... like little socks like little muslin cloth things like that you could even um be using this project for your Christmas crafting and have Christmas sweets in here. Oh yeah. Um, you know, there's lots of little things you can do with this uh, actual box once you've got it. And like I say, changing up the number of drawers and um, doing like three or four is really cute as well. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, such a cute project. So I'm just gonna pop this on flat. Caroline Humphrey says, this is lovely. Viv Williams says, it's my parents' birthday in a couple of weeks. If I start now, I might finish it in time. Oh, you will. You definitely will. And as well, a couple of weeks is nice because you you know, you know can put it down, come back, come to, back it. to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Caroline Johnson on YouTube has just said, what a great show today. Just love the cards oh, that you've done. Thank you. Um, our it's a free gift and the instructions have been so easy. Thank you. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. I'm going to double him up to sit in the middle of there. Oh, very sweet. So cute. I mean, you could take that middle frame out and make that into a little shaker or something. Oh, you know, yeah. You could do absolutely loads with this. There we go. 
our gorgeous box with our little sleeping mice on and then we can just open up those gorgeous drawers look how deep they are you can get i reckon you can get cake in there and everything oh yes <laughs> yes you could put maybe it could be like teas and coffees and hot chocolates stuff like that that yep. would be a really cute little gift as well yeah such a nice box to make and the fact that you can make it out of your a4 as well yeah. incredible yeah, definitely. absolutely incredible so don't worry about getting a3 this has all come from the club gift and the extra bits and pieces yeah. Um, so hopefully you have been very inspired by Anne Marie's. I know I definitely have. And you are gonna dig that um, club gift, get those bits and pieces out and have a little bit of crafty fun with our Meadow Mice collection. A um, couple of bits to leave you with. Um, our TV schedule, we are on TV today. Pauline is at Hobby Maker. Her shows are one, three and five. She'll be taking a look at some of our festive little box. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> um, she's also going to be looking at some of our pattern packs and some of our extremely popular, yep. back by popular demand, um, Christmas rockers. Yep. Um, they are fabulous, so do not miss those. Um, next up on Hunky Dory TV, same time, same place tomorrow, um, we are going to launch our festive little books here. We know that you're going to love them. They are incredible, so do not miss us tomorrow at 10 a.m. as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and if you do do any makes with your club gift, please send them to us. We would love to see. Um, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.